Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my new video. It's Hypno here. I really hope you enjoy. And in today's video, I'm playing with the mirror as promised to you guys in the last video. So yeah, we're in the first game here against Fluffy Potato. And as most of you guys already know, I created this control spell cycle deck just like five days ago or something. And I've been testing out quite a lot different variations with like the triple spirit or with the wall breakers and now with the mirror too. I already tested out um, quite a lot different variations with this and I figured that the mirror variation might even be the best variation of this deck because mirror is very nice in this deck. You have a lot of op opportunities to like get m good mirrors down. For example, a lot of times you can mirror the poison and a lot of times you can mirror the princess, which is um, very good in a lot of matchups. Like Princess at the Bridge is completely broken against the Dagger Duchess Tower because it's like the only card that will always force out a response, right? Um, like all the cards you could mostly ignore because the Dagger Duchess Tower is charged up, right? So it will kill everything, but the Dagger Duchess Tower can't reach my Princess, so that will always force out a response. So this means that Princess is actually one of the best cards against the Dagger Duchess Tower. So obviously a mirrored princess will put in a lot of work against the Dagger Duchess Tower also. And in some situations you can mirror your Tesla too or mirror your Valk, which will get you a lot of value in certain situations too. So I'm gonna go for my poison here. He goes for the freeze, so very bad freeze. Completely wasted because the, the pups would have died to my poison anyways, but I guess he didn't expect me to go for the poison right there. So I'll go for my princess. Hopefully he doesn't predict me. Okay, he goes for the inferno dragon. Good inferno dragon from him, but I think I can snipe that with my Tesla before the princess dies. So that so that should be a good Tesla. Yes, very nice. So my princess survives and that way he still has to use the skelly dragons and I'm actually gonna pressure him in here. He's gonna barb so I'll go for my spirits too so hopefully the barbs can die and my Valkyrie can maybe go on to the tower but the evil barbs are just like way too healthy so probably not. <laughs> okay no damage from the Valkyrie right there but he goes for an interesting lava and <laughs> didn't catch my princess. I guess he wanted to predict my princess but was too slow. So I'm gonna pressure him opposite lane so he can't really spend a lot more elixir on offense. So very nice. We forced out the scaly dragons on defense which is very good. And now I can already go for my next Tesla to pull up a very good defense. So we're looking very good right here. And I'm not too sure about this matchup because he's playing a very weird lava hound variation but it shouldn't be too bad to be honest so now i'm going for my mirrored princess and he has the evil zap in hand so he's actually able to spell both of my princesses off the map but as you can see i already have my next princess and that's gonna help out quite a lot because because of the princess shot the tesla can two shot the skelly dragons and that way the tesla survives and cleans up the lava hound so very good next princess right there and i want to keep up both lane pressures because he doesn't have cheap responses in his deck, so as you can see he has to overcommit over quite a lot with the Inferno Dragon and Barbs for example. Interesting freeze, I'll just go for my Skellies and if he zaps that I can still counter everything with my Fire Spirit hopefully, but I don't even need to because he missed the um, Skellies, so I can just use my Fire Spirit to support the Skellies and force out another response. We actually forced out the Skelly Dragons and look at the Valkyrie. The Valkyrie got so much damage on his tower, so we're not in double poison range. Okay, that's gonna be game. He went for the lava way too far in the back and now you're gonna see the power of Mirrored Poison. I just cycled two poisons onto, onto his tower. And I'm already back, back to the next one. For one moment, you could literally see three poisons onto his tower, which is kind of insane. So I'll see you guys in the next game here. We're in the next game here against Mustafa SLR. And I know this guy plays with Golem, so he has a lot of expensive responses and no cheap cards. So I know I'm going to be able to pressure him very nicely on both lanes and he will always have to overcome it and at the same time I have very good defense against Golem with the Evo Valkyrie Tesla Poison. To be honest like this deck performs the best against heavy giant decks like the giant pump deck for example or against heavy golem decks 
So yeah, I'm very ha happy with this matchup right now. And as you can see, just gonna pressure him for 8 Elixir on both lanes. 5 Elixir with the Valkyrie Ice Spirit and um, 3 Elixir with the Princess. And as you can see, he had to like commit 8 Elixir too. So it's a completely worth it play for me. And now he will still have to respond to my um, Mirrored Princess, which is gonna be good. So we actually force out the Evolution Barbarians. I'm gonna use my Evo Skeletons here because... I know I only need my Evo Skeletons for like Golem pushes and by the time he's gonna be able to make a good Golem push, I'm already gonna have my next um, next Evo Skellies and I don't want the Barbarian to get too much damage so I'll use my Valkyrie also. And okay, he arrows dead so I'm just gonna go for my Mirrored Princess and Skeletons and looks like he's gonna wait so I'll go for my Ice Spirit too to maybe get one more Princess shot and... Okay, he goes for the Night Witch, so unfortunately we're not gonna get another shot. I'll just go for my Fire Spirit to make sure that no bats get any damage onto my tower. And as you can see, I'm already back to my next Princess. And if I would go for it at the bridge, which I will, then I'm just gonna be able to get my next Princess down. I could go for it in the opposite lane and probably be able to defend the barbs anyways. But I'm just gonna go for it low and we force out the Evo Zap, which is very good for us because... His Evo Zap is very important for him to um, break through on offense. So, okay, man, we're just spamming him with princesses at the bridge. It might look very dumb, but it's actually the right play for me to make because, yeah, as I said, he only has expensive responses. So I just go for my princess. He has to arrow that, but I still get a shot. And then I go for my mirrored princess and he has to phoenix that. And that's like... Um, the same elixir trade because mirrored princess cost for elixir just like phoenix but i still get damage so very nice princesses right here and i know he only has the arrows to kill one of my princesses so i'm gonna be mirroring my princess here a lot because i know he can't get both of them off the board and the princess is very annoying for him and oh i didn't even realize he missed my princess trying to hit my evil skeletons and the princess so now I'm actually gonna be having four princesses on, on the board and I have no idea how he wants to like kill all of them. He sets up the golem but he will still have to kill my princesses on the left side too, right? So this is gonna be a lot of trouble for him and I'm already gonna have my next two princesses here. So I'm just gonna be spamming princesses right now because I'm in such a huge like damage lead and I know if I spam princesses in the... Um, defense then he's not gonna be able to ever break through so okay he goes for the phoenix in the back honestly i could poison that but i'm not going to i'll just set up my next princess in the back because why would i poison his tower if i'm up like 3000 damage or 2000 damage 200 so hopefully yes i was scared that the phoenix would clean up my evil skeletons because when the phoenix dies the phoenix drop like the egg drop kills skeletons so Sometimes your evil skeletons can die if you time it wrong. And now I'm just gonna start poison cycling him. And yeah, I'll just go for the mirror and then I'm just gonna need one more poison to finish off the game. So I'll go for my skeletons and spirits here and then I'm already gonna be back to another poison which is kind of insane. And my mirrored one too. Man, this is insane. Like, the mirror is very broken in this deck. Mirror is a very bad card overall but in this deck it works out super well. We are in the next game here against Powell M and I know this guy is a Lava Hound player so gonna be very interesting to play against him here. We already faced the Lava Hound in the first game but you can't really compare that because that was Lava Hound Freeze and Lava Hound Freeze is like completely different to all the other Lava Hound decks so yeah pretty interesting to play against Powell M here. And he goes for the Inferno Dragon, so I'm just gonna go for my Tesla at the bridge because that's gonna protect my princess very nicely and he will still have to respond um, to that. So we actually forced out the arrows. I could cycle back to my next princesses here, but I actually want to see what he has on ground. So I'll go for my Valkyrie and support that with my Skellies, depending on what he does. Okay, he goes for the barbs in the back, so I'll actually go for my princess behind the Valk because he doesn't have arrows in cycle, so... Okay, he goes for a decent miner and zap, but not really worth it um, for him, like those barbs. I guess he cycles to his evolution barbs, but it wasn't really worth it for him. And now I can just pressure him with my mirrored princess. And I know this guy only has expensive responses too, so he's kind of gonna have 
the same problems as the other beatdown players having to deal with my princess at the bridge. So, okay, let's see what he does here. I'll go for my evil skellies too because he will still have to respawn to that. And okay, he actually wants to ignore the Valkyrie and goes for the lava in the back, but he has to waste the arrows onto the evil skeletons. And now I'm like up a lot of elixir because he just went for lava hound and arrows. So he still has to respawn to my princess. And if he responds to my princess, I'm just gonna get a clean and easy defense down onto his lava hound. And I know he doesn't have arrows in cycle, so I can just go for my princess like this and Tesla like that. I wouldn't go for that if he had arrows because that would be like way too much arrows value onto my tower, Tesla and princess. But very good defense right there. And actually our princess survives because the evil Valkyrie pulled his miner away from my princess, which is, which is very nice. And looks like he just wants to give up his left side tower and try to take mine but i'll set up my first tesla like this and then i go for my second tesla like that and then i'm gonna be able to cycle to next teslas again and i also have my poison on defense and this is what i mean like the mirror is so broken for defense i can always choose what cards to mirror i can sometimes mirror the tesla the poison the princess whatever i need to mirror and that just wins me the game right here <laughs> and yeah crazy game right here I have to go do something right now, so this is actually gonna be the last video I record for today. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll definitely will be playing this deck more the next days because it's super fun and completely broken. So see you soon, guys. Bye.